presents a straight no chaser. Well, we don't take no shit. If you want to participate in this role, you have to follow the simple rule. The rules are simple. Respect everyone's opinion. Allow everyone to speak. Be respectful. Engage. And get your fucking point across. If you want to follow the club, click the greenhouse at the top. Any of the mods that you like, please follow the mods. They will follow you back. If you follow those rules, we will get along just fine. If not, we will goo the fuck out of you. Welcome to Straight No Chaser. A man should be the one fixing my car, paying my car, not paying for my fast. I'm just talking about the the hypocrisy when a person puts gender roles on a man, when a woman puts gender roles on a man, but doesn't want to live by the gender roles set by a man on them. You don't have the right to do that. You cannot. If you cannot agree that, well, yeah, you know, I'm not going to lie because you're telling me what a man is supposed to be, but I can't tell you what a woman is supposed to be. It's hypocritical. You know what I mean? I don't go by that. But I'm saying the truth is the truth. You know what I mean? You can't tell me how to be a banana and then get mad when I tell you how to be a plantain. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't, you like, real shit. You can't tell me. Because if I'm a banana and you're not, but you want to tell me what a banana should be like and you're a plantain, then you should allow me the same respect to tell you what a plantain is supposed to be like. And if you're offended by that, you're a hypocrite. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, if we're going to use that logic, I find it astounding as to how people get offended when we use the same logic they use on on you, whether you're a woman, whether you're a man, because you could do the same thing. He could tell you, oh, well, I expect you to be in the house and you're not supposed to be wearing tight clothes and all. You're like, okay, well, I expect you to pay for everything. Ah, you're going to Oh, then you're a hypocrite then. You know it, just I mean? still, this- it just still gives this whole... Um, competitors vibe like it doesn't sound like two people who are on the same page with each other and have a common goal and are teammates it just sounds like opposition like well, you guys are opponents. somebody's right yeah, and, and, and when that happens how none of those people are actually in this room right now can we have some people answer the actual topic question um did we change the question what the fuck no, nah, it's 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 pretty much the same thing because you know I don't believe that a man should pay for everything. I don't. Not you know, in this I'm world. If we look at the top, the what what is make it like? What do, what do we mean by make it? Like make the relationship last. Make it last forever. Or is it like make it financially? Or like what are we talking about? Make it? Oh, a little bit of all of that, right? It's like a pot of gumbo. Eh? You need a little bit of all of that. Yeah. I would I would say love life, is life one, that's life's gumbo. One one would be love, the other one would be actually committing. Like when I say convicted, you know what I'm saying? Like you are convicted. A lot of people they like, Oh yeah, I could be committed, but are are you able to be convicted to it when it's good, when it's bad, when it's uncertain, when it's fucking crazy, you know what I mean? Like are you able to stay even though you know this shit is fucked up right now? Well, bro. <laughs> Let me ask you, Brock. Do you have to be in love to make it? Love is love is part of it, yeah. Do you have to be in love though to make it? In love, yes. Because you loving someone be? is not the same as being in love. Okay. But you know there's a lot of people out there that don't be in love but they still make it. Yeah. But I guess you know, it's so is that wrong? True, true. Is that wrong or is that uh, right? Or is it that's their way and then they everybody That's just their way. way. Yeah, I can't say oh, what's right or wrong in that. Okay. Let's look at this world from a broad stroke. Let's get wrong with it. You know, can do you have to be in love to make it? You say yes. Yeah, like yeah, you have to be in love to make it. Mm. Both people have to be equally in love, and if somebody fall short, the other one should be there to help pick the other one up, but at one point, some point in time, you have to be ready to let it go when it doesn't serve you no more. Yeah. Um, historically, man, um, I told my man, no. Hold on, this is the script is getting flipped. Oh. Okay, Jocelyn, I hear you. I beg to differ. differ. Um, my husband was very much in love with me, but I wasn't in love with him, but we still made it. That's because he chose to accept the fact that you weren't in love with him anymore. No, not anymore. No, not no anymore. I wasn't in love with him, period. I was in love with the fact that 
my God had put me where he put me and my God came before any human being. So I mm-hmm. chose to think that I put God first and not a human being. Mm-hmm. Okay. But I never was in love with my husband. Okay. Mm-hmm. So one would argue with respect that you were the beneficiary out of that relationship. I'm just saying. I beg to I'm just saying. You. you said that the pre- they need to be in love. Okay. Does he know that you were never in love with him? Yes, I told him. Okay, so then again, he settled. He chose mm-hmm. to do that. So you he know, you can't her be for telling you, the yeah. truth. Right, we hear right. what you want to hear on that. That's not true. So no, I'm some being people. Serious. The thing is, yes. Yeah, so the difference mm-hmm. there's a difference with people. Some people off, uh, operate off of emotion. Who oh, you want to? You know what I'm saying? So that logic, it don't really fly when somebody knows themselves. You know, and the danger is. Especially with, I mean, the way that you explain things, you know, you know, nobody, y'all, are my imaginary friends, but the way that you explain <laughs> things, you would, you would best benefit from somebody who knows themselves very well, not somebody who just tells you, but to wait to like for real do forever with somebody, uh, like you know, wait until that person can prove that they know themselves, like in the face of all of your being able to explain and your logic and your way and, you know, your opinions and stuff like that, that they stand on their own, you know, 10 toes. On their own, yes. Against, yes. against your being able to always find a way to be right in situations because the whole time I've been in the room, you've been, you've had the correct perspective based on you. And I've never said the, that. Though. That's a danger. No, you didn't say that. You've said everything else, and I'm, but, you know, I'm, okay. I'm not wanting to, but just listen though, real quick, because I'm, I'm not I'm wanting. Listening. I don't want us to, you know, ever become combative or anything like that. Oh no, no, but, no, no, I'm listening. But the the type of perspective that you have is that you can always find an angle to be correct, even when you did not understand something. Say it again. So, so it's. Dif- it's difficult to have a conversation with somebody like that. What happens when somebody's with you is they get exhausted by having to go round and round and then you win. And for some reason, people like that think they were correct. But Thank there's you. the truth is that I would rather be wrong and let you win than to keep going through this shit. And that's what a lot of people get to, you know, and like I said, not at you specifically, you know. But I but people you. will people will get exhausted with all of this always being right shit, and when you hear the merry go round, and when it comes time for you to understand, be accountable, listen, like be be the one that you know has to receive, it still turns into you being able to regurgitate and explain from your perspective. But being able to see things from someone else's perspective takes a lot less talking it takes a lot of letting it sit with you and it takes you not feeling like you immediately understand it too there's a little bit of space there's a little pause there's a little you know break that needs to happen sometimes when somebody's explaining something that they're telling you is different from the logic that you have previously expressed Jimmy for president. I, I, which is true. Someone, some people have have a lust, and then others don't. So then you kind of look at it from the perspective of if I'm lusting for you and I'm desiring you, and oh man, she, she looks so good, man. Look at that dag on, woo, yeah, that's <laughs> lust. Still rust. Yeah. What's up? I got a question. Do you agree or do you believe that the definition of being in love is convicting yourself to that person? Not convicting. Damn. I'm talking about conviction. Dang, God. <laughs> Damn. Convicted sounds like kind of serving time, bro. No, but that's what I'm saying. More. So, okay. Basically so when you, you marry some, when you marry someone, right? You say within your vows, your conditions on staying <laughs> married, those are your vows. And then you say, for better or worse, richer or poorer, to death do us part. You are convicting yourself. 
to those vows. You are tying yourself to those yeah, vows. That word. I mean, uh, isn't I, that more like, I mean, co- like committing is more, you know. Well, well, anybody could commit, but everybody could fall out of commitment and break a commitment. Just like when you say, I'm going to make a commitment to try to quit smoking cigarettes and then you relapse. Convicting yourself is no matter what happens, no matter what what comes about, I'm going to stick to this because I love you. That's conviction. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I, I hear you. I hear your point. But, you know, I think that it, it also goes along the lines of, you know, what we where things I'm an origin guy. You know what I'm saying? So I like knowing where things come from and why we do what we do. So when you start talking about marriage and all that, it was never about love. If you really want to get technical about it. I don't know where that came from. Really? It, nah, you know. Be, oh, you like, talking about the origin of marriage? Okay. okay. Just, you just be, it was, it was <laughs> like linking. It was like putting families together, and 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 you know, you own the land in the, in the north. I own the land in the east. So my daughter, your and your son are going to get married to link the families together, whether they wanted to be in love or not. Didn't matter. You know what yeah. I mean? So it was just one of those type of things. So as time moved forward and these other things came in and people stopped really doing that like that. And we got away so, from the arranged marriages, you know, then it became all about love. Okay, so with with the way it is today from the origin, do you believe that if a person is getting married, they have to be in love? I don't I don't believe so. I think that d- depending upon what you want out of that, because you can get married for a vast number of reasons other than, other than love. So mm-hmm. if if whatever your reason may be, you know what I mean? Some people want to get married to become citizens of a, of a, of a, of a particular country and you need marry somebody that's native or you're married because um, it makes better. You you get better tax breaks if you marry. There's all sorts of reasons to get married. Other than right. just love, so I think that it really depends on what it is. So if, if some view it as, well, it is it is a contractual thing? If you sign a contract, that's really what it is. I'm contractually being, I'm binding myself to you until it's broken, and all of that. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if that is your question or not, but <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not. I'm I'm just trying to get your perspective because, like how you said, with your understanding of you know, the origin, my